Hello, I'm Robert Picorni, manager of the TAC Group, and today we're going to talk through doing an update on Versive and Remote over a Linkware Live connection. There are some things that you need to have with you in order to be successful in an update, and those include your, your USB cable, your permanent link adapter and your channel adapter, the TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter, unless you're using a Versive 2, which has Wi-Fi built in, and your mobile phone to use as a hotspot. Let's take a look at what it takes to do an update over Linkware Live. Okay, so here I've gone to Tools and Network, and I've connected to my cell phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. And next, I'm going to go to Sign In and sign in to my Linkware Live account. Okay, and then I select my organization. And in a moment, it should tell me, hey, there's an update available. Do I want to install the update now? I'm going to tap yes. And what it will do now is download the software to the main unit and start applying the update. So now that the main unit's been updated, what I need to do is connect the main to the remote with the USB cable. So I'm going to take out my Wi-Fi adapter and use the cable to connect the two. And soon I should get a prompt on the screen that the main unit recognizes the remote has a, a prior version of software. It needs to be updated. And here's that error screen. So this is the screen. It says make the connections and then hit update. And at this point, the main unit is going to transfer the software to the remote, and the remote is going to automatically apply the update and reboot itself. Okay, so we've sent the update from the main unit to the remote. It took about five to seven minutes for that update to apply, and it ended by rebooting itself. So the final step is just to use your permanent link adapter and channel adapter and set a reference between the two, and you should be good to go. So to recap, you can update the software to Versive Main and Remote over your Linkware Live login. You just need the pieces that we talked about in the beginning of the video. And when you set a reference, make sure you remove that USB cable when you set a reference between the two units. If you'd like step-by-step -step instructions on the update, click the link below in the description. Thanks for watching.